Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over hexadecimal. Uh, in particular, we're going to be seeing how to go from binary to hexadecimal and then hexadecimal to binary. Okay, so a few things to keep in mind about hexadecimal is that hexadecimal is base 16, meaning that 16 digits make up uh, hexadecimal and the digits that make up hexadecimal it's the same there's some of the same digits from decimal and those digits are 0 to 9 but then now to represent the digits after 9 you know such as 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 it uses a letter uh, a letter associated to each one so you know, here I'll write these out. So 10 will equal A, 11 equals B, 12 equals C, 13 will equal D, 14 equals E, and 15 <clears throat> equals F. So these are the digits that make up hexadecimal. Okay, well let's start by looking at an example. Let's say we have the following hexadecimal number. Let's say we have the hexadecimal number 7A. And keep in mind that you have to denote what base you, you're referring to. And let's say we want to find out what... Uh, this number's equivalent uh, base 2 representation is. So we want to find out what this hexadecimal uh, value is in binary. Okay, one thing to keep in mind before I continue is you need to know what a bit is. And a bit is just a basic uh, it's just a basic unit. Uh, it's just like one digit which is either a 0 or a 1. And that's like the simplest unit you can have in uh, binary. So, by keeping in mind what a bit is, you need to uh, keep in mind that for any given hexadecimal value, you can represent that with four bits. So, for example, if we look at this, uh, the following number that we're analyzing, uh, this 7 can be represented uh, with 4 bits, so you can have 4 bits here, and then this A can also be represented with 4 bits. And the reason why it can be represented with 4 bits is because, uh, you know, 2 to the 4 is 16 so that exponent 4 is how many bits you would need to represent that and you know from here it's pretty straightforward you know let's start with A for example we know that A is binary 10 or I'm sorry not binary 10 decimal 10 we know that that represents 10 so all you gotta do is just write the binary representation for 10 so from the previous videos you should uh, know by now how to do this so I'll go ahead and just write it out. So 10 is 1, uh, 0, 1, 0. And now we just got to do the same for 7. So 7 in binary is 0, 1, 1, 1. And this will be, if you rewrite this out and you uh, combine it together, one, zero, one, zero. this is the binary uh, representation of uh, 7a base 16. So, 
If you want to double check uh, this result and make sure that it is in fact um, uh, that is in fact 7A uh, it's pretty pretty simple all you gotta do is just do the same process again where starting from the far right you just cat uh, break this up into four groups and then you find uh, its decimal equivalent so you know if you go through this it'll be 2 to the second plus uh, 2 to the fourth no I'm sorry it'll be 2 to the first plus uh, 2 to the third which is uh, which is 10 so this is 10 and if you know uh, which des uh, which uh, letter corresponds to 10 in hexadecimal you'll know that 10 is equal to A and if you break this again into groups of four this binary representation right here is seven you know it's two to the zero plus two to the one plus two to the second which is seven seven and since seven isn't bigger than nine you know it's not ten eleven whatever it's just gonna stay seven so then this is in fact seven a base sixteen okay let's look at another example let's say we're trying to go from from binary to hexadecimal and let me just write out some random value we'll see what value it is I, I really don't know what I'm gonna write All right, well, let's just keep it here for now because it might get a little too uh, hectic if we do a, too big of an example for right now. So the same process goes here. If you want to find out this, uh, what this binary number represents in hexadecimal, just break it up into groups of four starting from the far right. So this will be one group, and this is two to the third, which is eight, and then we can write that out. And then we break it up into four groups again. And this will be 15. And 15 is F. And then we'll divide this up into four again. And whenever you come into a, a case like this where, you know, there's an odd uh, amount here and it's not quite four, then just assume that, you know, there's like a, a zero right here. So there should be a zero right there, and that's what's going to be represented in that placeholder. So with that in mind, you know, you look at it and you figure out what this is. So it's going to be 2 to the 1 plus 2 to the second. So that's 4 plus 2, which is 6. So if we rewrite this for base 16, it should be 6, F, 8 in base 16. And once you're done with this, you might want to double check to make sure that this value is in fact correct. Um, if you're maybe second guessing your math and you don't know for sure if you're doing this correctly, uh, you can always go online and you know type in like hexadecimal to binary or binary to hexadecimal uh, converters and then just enter the values there and ensure that you're getting the correct values for whatever uh, base you're trying to convert to. But hopefully this uh, helps you out. Just keep in mind uh, the whole grouping by four. And if you can do that and you know all the digits in hexadecimal, then you should be fine. Uh, just check out the previous lessons I had on everything else as far as uh, decimal to binary and binary to decimal. And everything should be easy once you figure those out and you understand those. But until next time, uh, take care. And any questions or comments, please leave them below. And the next video... I'll be uh, solely going over decimal uh, to binary. I'm sorry, decimal to hexadecimal to hexadecimal, and vice versa. Uh, those are a little harder to do. Uh, with those ones, I recommend that you perhaps have a calculator on hand because the you know the calculations for that and the method for it can become pretty uh, complicated sometimes. It's a little hard to follow sometimes. It's not like a straightforward, but until next time, guys, take care.